Hi, I'm Ron Polk, designer of the Polk Workbench. We're putting a second kitchen in the lower level of this brand new home. The people are living here, so we have to keep it really clean while we're here. And so today's task is to, we've gotten started, we pulled up carpet where we're going to be cutting concrete. Now we're ready to put up a dust wall before we start cutting drywall and making dust in the place. And this wall is going to be put up and stay in place for the length of the entire job until we're ready to clean up. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes and show you how we do that. To start with, I'm using a little thicker plastic than you see used a lot of times. I like to use one and a half mil as opposed to the 0.3 mil. It's not that much more expensive, but it makes a much better wall. The first thing I'm going to do is just stretch it out from where I'm going to start, take it all the way to where I'm going to end it, even with turns or bends. I'll just twist it and bend it, and uh, it'll be cut to the length I need so I can stretch it in place. So you want to come jump on that one? And we'll go right to the wall, two inches from the ceiling. And now that one's ready to go. Put the magnet over. Okay. So now with that one, we'll go ahead and jack it up. Get that on there. All right. And then, and actually we want to pull it tight, so we'll want to have it, I may have wanted to come a little bit further. Yeah. What do you think, Seth? It's pretty tight. Okay. Make sure the bottom is getting tight. Does that look kind of plumb? Right there. Okay. And by stretching the plastic as we're going, stretching it up and lengthwise, we get a nice tight seal to the ceiling. We can tape that if we want, but we don't have to. What do you think? Well. Now put the door in here. Yep. All right, so now we've got, we've put in a wall that runs, you know, three different sections with five poles. And then we're going to, the homeowner is going to be living on the other side, but needs to get to this side, uh, access to the upstairs in the restroom. So we're going to put in one of um, uh, Fast Cap's magnetic uh, dust doors so they can just come and go, not worry about uh, opening and closing it. This one, we want it. No, we want, it's a little bit of an angle on the bottom there, so we're going to want to come in so we're behind the door. Um, actually, we can pull this in a little bit and cut it like about three or four inches in. All the way to the, all the, way to the top bar. Got to pull it down a little bit. There we go. All right. And then we'll do it on this side. And it's amazing the pressure difference, isn't it? Mm -hmm. One side of the room to the other. Air already starting to push through. What's that? Air already starting to push. Yeah. And then we'll cut this bottom out. And then do a couple mag do we have a couple more magnets because we need it. Is that catching? Yep. Alright. No, we've definitely got positive pressure. That's yep. That'll help with dust too. Yep. So there, took about uh, 20 minutes to set up the dust wall, quite a big wall, and have the door so the homeowner can uh, Come and go, and then when you let the door go, when you let the door go, <laughs> the magnets hold it together. And you can see, um, in this case, we have 
a little bit of positive pressure on the other side, which will even be better for keeping dusted on this side. So by stretching the plastic and using a little heavier plastic, stretching it tight, it's tight down the sides on the walls and across the ceiling, um, we'll have good dust control. And when the job's all done, we'll have a lot less cleanup to do and a lot happier clients. So if you uh, are doing a remodel, take a few minutes and um, put up a dust wall. I think you will be happy with results and I know your clients will like you a lot better. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.